morning. Rylan here at the big shop. Uh, I've been battling a cold the last few days and so I haven't spent a lot of time in the shop. <laughs> I just came out this morning to take care of a couple errands before uh, going back to the couch and uh, continuing my recovery. But I thought I'd take a take the opportunity to spin you around the shop here in a early December 2022 build season and just kind of show you what I've been working on. <clears throat> Oh, I got my personal bikes tucked over there in the corner. Uh, I got my Vision and then the dirt bike that I play around with the kids with. And there's their little dirt bikes. And it got me thinking, I don't really have a hot rod. And uh, so I've had this hammer laying around for a while uh, that I bought because it had a blown up transmission. And it's kind of been road hard and put away wet. And... I got to thinking, man, I wonder if my supercharger plenum would fit on there because I got to need a new oh uh, chassis for my supercharger engine. And boy, sure enough, that sucker fits right on there. So uh, I'm going to have to start thinking about what I want to do with this piece here. It's going to be an interesting project. But uh, the old TC here is still for sale. If anyone's looking for a great old touring cruiser, do not make me turn this into a project because the longer it sits here, the more I think, oh, you know, I should like black out the front end and put some different wheels on it and maybe some higher bars and stuff. And then uh, makes it, uh, you know, and then I start getting some money invested into it. So don't make me do that. Just come and buy this from me, please, and get it, get it out of here. <laughs> But up on the racks, we got uh, we got this cross country that's in for. Uh, she's got us doing a bunch of stuff here, and um, first of all, we'll be blacking out the motor, and she's got a uh, purple belt drive cover there that we'll be installing, and then we'll be blacking out. Well, I guess the motor's partially blacked out, but uh, blacking out the exhaust. We got some ceramic coat back uh, recently. I use Victory only for that, and. Looks great. It's going to really transform this bike. The front end is out at powder coat and paint, so it's blacked out. And then we'll just do all the service and uh, do believe we're doing a cam job as well while it's in here. So nice big winter project of um, stuff that's uh, attractive and powerful and maintenance. And so, yeah, that's what that one's all about. And then the Vision here is finally getting its fuel pump. They were back ordered from Victory. And they finally came in, <clears throat> and so this one broke down, fuel pump failed uh, this summer, and it's been here ever since, and uh, we wanted to wait for the OEM pump to show up uh, and put the OEM pump assembly in there because uh, they still provide that. So that's what route we're going, and we're fixing, this is an 08, it's got the typical air leaks, the throttle body, and the idle air valve hoses, and um, you know, so that, that's all going to get fixed, and it's like, man, there's still 08s out there that have that rotten stuff in there and still need that work done here all these years later after multiple videos of me talking about that. And this one's got the, uh, uh, this old AF, uh, this old Dobat controller, which we were never really big fans of. And, uh, so we're going to change that over whilst we fix the fuel pump and get this one going again. Next one down on the rack here is this 07 Hammer. Um, this one's getting a bunch of power upgrades, a bunch of bolt-on power upgrades, which I think is going to make a great video of its own. And so when the exhaust shows up, I'm going to shoot uh, a video of just some power upgrades and do's and don'ts when you're uh, picking up a, you know, like a vintage bike, like a bike of this vintage, <laughs> the uh, 07 and older, which I think is a great way to make cheap horsepower. I mean, you can pick these up for a few grand and they're super uh, reliable and rock solid once you get through a couple of known, easy, simple issues. And then we can, you know, bolt on another 20 or 30 horsepower, just some cams and a controller and a good set of pipes and all that jazz. So kind of keep that, uh, uh, keep your eyes peeled for that. And then we got uh, this Indian here that uh, has been here all summer as well. Broke a valve spring. The valve springs were on back order. That I they finally came in here recently, and uh, now it's back in line to get a set of valve springs, which I got up on the sh on the on the uh, bench here. And then uh, 
into the meat and potatoes of build season. This one's getting a build. It's uh, got a transmission issue, and so it's about ready to get split down and uh, figured out and put back together, possibly with a big bore. We shall see uh, what the budget looks like and how bad the damage uh, the transmission is. But this is one that I'm also filming, and... Um, I figure it's time to do a full rebuild uh, video, and it's going to be a long one. It's going to be, uh, I mean, the project alone is huge. Uh, I mean, I'm going to have 30-some hours into it, and then, of course, the video is also going to be huge because you have to explain you know, everything that's going on along the way. So that's uh, keep your eyes peeled for that. <clears throat> and then we got a line of the next stuff that's in uh, for its... Uh, it's build. There's a couple engine builds in here, a couple of transmission fixes, a couple of both engine and transmission uh, things. So, so yeah, lots going on. I'm going to get back to relaxing so I can get over this flu and get back to wrenching. Talk to you later.